Alright guys, today I've got another fun video here on my Moto X. It really doesn't matter what device you're on though. What we're going to go over today is an application called Greenify. And we're going to show you basically how it functions. It's pretty simple and actually it's been updated recently and now functions or quasi functions I guess you could say. And you'll understand that when I show it to you with non-rooted devices. So that's really cool. This is going to be great if you want to save battery life on your device by shutting down applications with Greenify automatically doing it. So it's very, very cool. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Obviously, if you want full functionality of this, you're going to want to have root access and you're going to want to have exposed framework installed, which is right here. Looks like this, and if you go to framework, it says it's installed. And to install and exposed framework, you obviously need to have root access. And if you want to do that, um, check out my videos on it. I have got a couple of videos now on exposed, one specifically on installing it, and then some other exposed modules that you guys can use, which is pretty cool. Um, that being said, we're going to go ahead and check out whatever else, what else we got in here. We're going to go into the App Store, and right here I've already pre-searched it, and right here is Greenify. So you're just going to click on it, and you're going to hit Install. Hit Accept, and you will be installing Greenify on your device. Um, this is really, very easy to use, and you can see because you have exposed module installed like I do, it automatically comes up with it's not activated, you need to activate it, and so on. So first I'm gonna show you guys how uh, Greenify works without root access and without using the exposed module, just plain old by itself. And then we'll show you how to do it and the improvements you get with root access and having exposed module in it. So first of all, let's go ahead and open it up. And it talks about some different things in here about Greenify. And does kinda, of, you know, it's initial like walkthrough stuff. So first thing you want to do is you want to hit the plus button. It's going to ask for a root permission. Right now I'm going to deny it because I want to show it to you without root access. So this is going to be without root access right here. So then you're going to go to show applications. Here are the applications that I have that are downloaded on my device. So I'm going to greenify Angry Birds. Hit OK. And it, it adds it to my list and it's still walking me through the, the setup stuff. And you would want to read that if it's the first time you've ever done this. Probably read all those. I'm going to add another one and go to Flappy Bird and go ahead and click that one. And now these are under the Hibernate screens on this device. Alright. So if they start going to use, when you use them, they'll go into like this active screen. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So... Let me actually show you that really quick just to show you. So if you go in here and you play some Flappy Bird, for example, you launch the application and you push play and then I'm just going to close it back out and go back into Greenify. You can see that Flappy Bird is now a pending, it's a pending application there and it's not hibernated. So it's kind of running in the background. And that's what this, that's what Expose does with uh, Greenify is it goes ahead and it'll put that back into a hibernating state so it's not kind of running in the background using up battery and that's really the main point behind it so if you want something like this you can click on it and then you can click the Z's and it automatically opens up this with this version and you just hit force stop and boom now it's hibernating so that's kind of the point and that's how it works with non-root access you can come into here and go to uh, create hibernate shortcut which is very cool or experimental features. Experimental features are pretty much only going to work with root access. So you have to activate it and have exposed and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll go back out of that. But if you want to come in here and you want to put create a hibernate shortcut, what that does is that puts a little shortcut right there on your home screen and you can tap on it. Well, there's no apps to hibernate, but if one was running, like Flappy Bird again, we'll run it and you want to make your stuff hibernate really quick, you just tap it, force close, bam, it's hibernating now, and you're good to go, and it's not running in the background. That's how it works non-root. Once you get root access, it's going to be quite different, so let me show you guys that. So first thing you're going to do if you want to do it with root access, well, I have to do it this way because I already told it not to ask for root access. So I need to come in here and tell it to forget this root access denial permission. And then I need to activate my modules. So right there, you can activate it. You can go ahead and click the little box right there. And back out and go into Framework and do a reboot. 
and that will go ahead and activate your modules. Um, so Greenify will work through Exposed Framework. So let's let this reboot and I'll show it to you. All right, we're gonna unlock it. Um, one thing I wanna point out to you guys is you can see some different customizations on this Moto X. That's all done through Exposed. So um, if you see anything in here that looks like not in stock Moto X, it's basically using Exposed Framework. So very cool, there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this. So now we're gonna open up Greenify this time. It's enabled through Exposed Framework and it should uh, boot up here. All right, there we go. It asked for super user permission. I wasn't impatient enough and that's what happened. So we're gonna grant it super, super user permission. We'll open it back up. There you go, you can see the flappy birds are in there. You need to grant it and it's super user, per super user permission if you have root access and you're trying to use obviously Exposed Framework. So now you have these two things listed here in Hibernate is what they say. So let me just show you the difference here. So here, if I now create that icon right here, create Hibernate shortcut, it's gonna do something different. And then we're also gonna add, see if we can add anything else to it. Let's add this um, ES File Explorer to it. Click that one in. Okay, so you can see EX File Explorer is pending and so it's obviously running in the background or some part of it is and now I have a new hibernate button right there so now when you use it with the exposed framework and root access and you hit hibernate there you go now it's working so basically once you have um, exposed and everything working correctly and granting access when you hibernate it won't actually bring you back to that other screen so I'll show you again here with Flappy Bird really quick so you open Flappy Bird you know close it out and now you can see it is pending and it's running in the background you can hit the hibernate and boom it just does it so it doesn't open up that you know force close thing and and try to go through settings and you have to manually force close things also if you have something running in the background after you turn off the screen for about a minute or two it'll automatically hibernate anything that's listed as the greenify application or, and in, in this list, which is just really cool. So anything pending that you have open, shut off the screen about 30 seconds to a minute, it's gonna go ahead and auto hibernate those things. Unless you can change right here, disable auto hibernate, and it'll disable that and it won't do that anymore. But that's part of what you want because you're trying to save battery life by killing your applications that you don't want running in the background. Um, so there you go, that's pretty much how this functions. Uh, you can add any application, I would obviously add uh, wouldn't add any application that has real notifications that you want. So if you like want to auto hide Facebook and you really like getting your Facebook notifications, I wouldn't auto hibernate that um, just because you won't get them anymore because it's going to basically shut it down and won't let it run in the background. So games, things like that that you only open and you only use when it op when you open it, that's the perfect things for Greenify and to keep your device running smooth and fast with good battery life. It also keeps your processor from using up uh, memory on those applications because they're not running. So it really has a, quite a few key features that really give it speed and performance and better battery life actually if you use it. I would recommend using it with Exposed Framework um, just because you have a lot better functionality with it but it does work without root. So there you go guys, that's going to be pretty much my overview on Greenify and the new non-root version of it. Also using with Exposed, pretty simple. Again if you have any questions about root access or Exposed on your device, please check out my other videos. I have on my YouTube channel on Exposed and Root, all that kind of stuff. I should have everything you're looking for. Check it out at rootjunkie.com. Also be on there. So hope you guys like this video on Greenify on the Moto X, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.